these are my five top reasons why you want to choose DaVinci Resolve. And uh, no, I'm not paid to say this. The ingestion, the metadata handling, and the amount of material that you can get into Resolve. You can pretty much get you know, any format into Resolve. It's an amazingly easy system in terms of ingesting stuff. And then you get to choose if you want to transcode the stuff. And I usually do that. And the second reason to use DaVinci Resolve, the optimized media. And the reason for that is that it's a more fluid experience. It's easier to work with. It's not as heavy on the computer. You can work with much more material. So for me, I always set it to ProRes Proxy at half resolution while I edit. That creates small files that can be on an external SSD drive that I can bring with me. So it's super fast, super quick and tiny. It's a really good, strong editing tool that you can use just like you would in Premiere or Final Cut or Avid even. But since everything is in the same program, it brings me to the next thing. That is the fourth reason for using it. You have in the same program, you have the editing and the color. So to go into the color panel and do all your grading in this super advanced grading program that you know nobody can compete with besides maybe Baselight that's the professional alternative out there so you can't really compare this to any Adobe program or anything because this was made for grading you can do it in a massive amount of ways but you have so much control over details and once you learn grading properly within a program like Resolve you will never want to go and use any LUTs or that sort of thing and just yeah Instagram filter mode go the audio this is a new function but it has so much potential having it in one program is worth so much if you haven't gone into a freaking long-term project like a feature film or a web series and then you're gonna come back in what two years and try to get into a program and then you have your audio there and you have that there and oh that is so annoying and it happens to me every time I do a film. That's one of the main reasons for wanting to have the audio panel within the same program. You don't want to leave the freaking program. Nope. 